the middle nut has now been released and can be replaced with a new one. However, the opening in the gripper fingers is not large enough to grip the center nut. For this reason, special gripping pins are used. The center nut has precise H9 tolerances. Despite this, the nut is easily lifted using force control. Notice how the nut behaves when it is removed from the connector body. There is no lateral movement. This can be seen as an indication of a well-established transparent impedance between the robot and the operator. Again, I use special pins that allow me to grip the replacement nut and push it into the connector body. To save time, the video speed is momentarily multiplied by 5 during this repetitive task.
then I'm a bit too careless when picking the first bolt. It falls into a narrow gap and it can't be gripped with the gripper. Instead, I have to use a dedicated rescue tool. The rescue tool is small enough to fit in tight spaces and has a magnet for lifting the bolt. There are also magnets on the bottom of the bolt rack for each bolt. The magnetic forces in the bolt rack are greater than the magnetic force of the rescue tool. The unequal balance of forces helps to release the bolt back into the rack. I realize that the pallet needs to be moved in order to have a better view to the bolt rack. I use the haptic arm touch switches to change the rotation angle of the pallet. To save time, the video speed is momentarily multiplied by 5 during this repetitive task. Unfortunately, I can't show you the handling of the last bolt because the camera stopped recording due to the 4GB file size limit. In the last video, the middle nut is reattached to the connector body by screwing the bolts in place. <laughs> 